Hi, it's me again, Wei Chiang here. Um, I'm going to solve another math problem for you today using a different method, not, not just the model method. So here we go. James and Andy had a total of 150 cards at first. Uh, in the first game, James lost one six of his cards. In the second game, Andy lost 40% of his cards to James. Now in the end, the two children had the same number of cards. What is the difference in the number of cards James and Andy had at first? Now we need to recognize that the total number of cards, 150 here, does not change regardless of the two rounds of games that they played. So let us start by this, this method, we will actually call it working backwards. And uh, let us start by drawing what happens at the end. So we know that James and uh, Andy, they have the same amount of uh, cards. And uh, this is just basically for illustration purpose. And this is just 350, so this would definitely be 75 and 75. Now, this is what happens after the second game. So during the second game, okay, we must know that we know that um, during the second game, uh, A lost uh, 40 percent, okay, to James. So this would mean that this 75 actually stands for 60 percent, okay. So we work backwards. So 60 percent would therefore be 75 cards. We don't go into 10 percent or 1 percent because we end up with decimals. So we just do 20 percent. Uh, 20 percent would therefore be 20. And then we can find out 100% would be um, 125. So this 125 is actually the number of cards uh, A had okay, before uh, second game. And um, this will also mean that J, okay, J would be having uh, 25 cards because it's a total of 150 minus 125, you get 25. So this is um, what happens after the first game. So what happens during the first game is that Andy actually lost, um, sorry, James. James lost uh, one six to Andy. So this 25 would therefore be five units because he's already got one six given to Andy. So when we continue here, okay, five units would actually be 25 so one unit would be 5 um, James initially had 6 units so 6 units would be 30 so this is what James started with okay so if James started with uh, started with 30 okay that would mean Andy started with 120 right 160 minus 30 is 120 so what's the difference in the number of cards? 120 minus 30, you get 90. And that, my friends, is how we solve this using a very simple method called working backwards. Um, I hope you like my videos. Hit the subscribe button. Um, share this video with your friends. And uh, do visit my webpage, juniorwonders.com.sg. Drop us an email. Or just uh, look for us on uh, Facebook. Thank you.